Hi, Dr. Brian Heberlin here with Lexington ENT and Allergy. And a common uh, referral that we get or a patient complaint that we get is that people feel like they have fluid in their ears. And a lot of those people don't really have fluid in their ears, certainly some do. Uh, to an ENT, what we mean by fluid in the ears is, is fluid or, or kind of a watery liquid that can be under the eardrum in what we call the middle ear space. And so it's not you know, water that you can suck out or get to unless you put a hole in the eardrum to do so. And so uh, fluid in the ear, truly a middle ear effusion, which is the fancy word for fluid in the ears, happens because the eustachian tube uh, which is the natural tube that goes from under our eardrum uh, in the middle ear to the back of the nose. If that's not opening well, people will develop a, a negative pressure in the middle ear and that'll pull fluid into that middle ear space. If someone truly has fluid in their ears, they're going to have significant hearing loss in that side. A lot of times people will feel off balanced or unsteady and, and they'll feel like that must be fluid or they'll go to the doctor in urgent care and they'll say, hey, you have fluid in your ears. When I question whether there truly is fluid at those times. As an ENT, it's, it's really hard to tell if someone has fluid in their ears. It is not an easy thing to, uh, to be able to diagnose by just looking at the ear. And so sometimes the history is important. Um, you know, in, in an ear, nose, and throat office, we have the ability to clean out the ears, get all the wax out of the way. We have microscopes to look at the ears. We have pressure tests called tympanograms and, and hearing tests. And so even with all of that, it can be challenging. So I really sympathize with primary care doctors of being able to determine that just with a little handheld otoscope that um, it doesn't have the same degree of magnification. And, and so uh, it's just not easy to tell if there's fluid in the ears. And I think a lot of people are not properly diagnosed as a result of that. And so if you feel you have fluid in the ears and you have significant hearing loss, it certainly may be that you have fluid. In those cases, placing an ear tube can be helpful. Doing something called a myringotomy can be helpful. Sometimes just popping your ears and using some decongestants for a short term and better allergy management can help. Um, but if it's none of those things and it's just really a dizzy problem, that's another thing ear, nose, and throat doctors can often help you with, uh, but it's a whole different treatment algorithm that would be needed rather than something to really remove the fluid. So don't get too hung up on the fact that it's fluid there and certainly think of some other things that it could be causing imbalance if that's really your complaint. Um, in general, if it truly is a middle ear effusion or fluid, people typically don't have balance problems. They just have hearing problems or they may have ear fullness or ear pain. Um, just keep that in mind and uh, we're happy to evaluate someone for fluid in their ears and make sure what they truly have. Uh, you should see an otolaryngologist if that's a persistent problem that lasts for over a month. Um, we're happy to help here at Lexington ENT and Allergy. Thank you.